Energy Consideration, a Quantitative Study In the rectangular loop, R be the resistance of a movable arm PO. We assume that the remaining arms QR, RS, SP have negligible resistance compared to R. Thus, the overall resistance of the rectangular loop is R and this does not change as PQ is moved. The current I in the loop is I is equal to epsilon by R is equal to BLV by R. On account of the presence of the magnetic field, there will be a force on the arm PQ. This force I L into B is directly outwards in the direction opposite to the velocity of the rod. The magnitude of this force is F is equal to I L B is equal to B square L square V upon R. Alternatively, the arm PQ is being pushed with a constant speed V. The power required to do this is P is equal to FV is equal to B square L square V square upon R. The agent that does this is mechanical energy. It is dissipated as joule heat and is given by P is equal to I square R is equal to BLV by R whole square. B square L square V square upon R. Thus, mechanical energy which was needed to move the arm PQ is converted into electrical energy the induced EMF and then to thermal energy. There is an interesting relationship between the charge flow through the circuit and the change in the magnetic flux. From Faraday's law, we have learned that the magnitude of the induced EMF is epsilon is equal to delta phi by delta T. Magnitude of induced EMF L epsilon L is equal to delta phi B by delta T. However, L epsilon L is equal to IR is equal to delta QR by delta T. Thus, delta Q is equal to delta phi B by R.